here with Marcus May. Okay, Marcus, so Coach Gay said that he's taking it easy with you. He wants to make sure you're ready for camp. So how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling well. Uh, been in the training room every day, all day. Uh, just been in the weight room, working on extra things, just trying to get stronger. Uh, but for the most part, I've been doing well, doing all the movements and stuff like that. How difficult is it for you to refrain from being out there and wanting to go and yet right. trying to learn a new defense at the same time? Uh, no, it's definitely frustrating just watching on the sideline, uh, just because I know that I can be out there right now, um, you know, just running around out there with the team, getting reps and stuff like that. Um, but other than just learning a new defense, just getting mental reps, seeing everything from the sideline, um, just watching how the guys react and stuff like that. So I'm learning as I'm watching. What can you say about your role in this new defense? I know you haven't played on the field in team periods yet, but what do you like about the role in this defense? Uh, uh, we're doing a lot with both safeties. Um, it's not just, you know, in the box and back high. Uh, I mean, we're both, you know, interchangeable. Um, so, you know, it's exciting. Um, and I'm anxious to get out there and see what I can do. How would you describe last season for you? Uh, frustrating. Um, just watching, just dealing with, you know, little nagging injuries. Um, but you know, like I said, it's part of the game. Nothing I really can control. Um, but just once I get back out there, I just continue to play how I play. And for this season, do you have any goals for yourself? I know in right now it's to get on the field, right. but once you do that and you're fully healthy, what do you hope to see from yourself now in year three? Just going out every day um, and just trying to get better every day. Uh, realizing how important practice really is. And, you know, the better you do in practice is, you know, relates to the game. So um, just becoming, you know, even a more student of the game and just learning how to be a better practice player. I know injuries are a part of the game. No one wants injuries. But having the view from the sideline, do you feel like you can almost be more impactful once you get back on the field? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, you can see where things are lacking at. Um, you can see where you know, the holes are, um, and you can come in and try to fill those spots. Uh, but like I said, once I get out there, I'm excited to be out there and just, you know, go out there and play the game I know. Is the goal for you to be back by training camp? Yeah, so definitely the goal. How difficult is it going to be for you to not try to, like, run through a wall at that point when you finally get out there without the red non-contact jersey? Uh, just got to be smart. Uh, like I said, just practice like a professional. Um, you know, know the situation and stuff like that. Um, play the game between your ears uh, more. Uh, but once I get out there and get the green light, I'm definitely going to go. So Jamal described Greg Williams as an uncle. How would you describe him? Uh, probably like an angry grandfather. <laughs> How come? Uh, he's constantly yelling, but it's all for the good. Uh, I mean, his, he doesn't stop talking. Um, you know, if it's in the meeting or out on the field, it's always something. But it's all... Uh, you know, instructions. Uh, it's always coaching us to get better. Uh, you know, we can mess up something, he'll jump on us, but at the same time, he's also coaching us. So I definitely like the angry grandfather. <laughs> All right, let's just wrap things up with the defense as a whole. Mm -hmm. What do you like about this defense from a player's perspective? Not about the scheme or X's and O's, but what do you like about the guys, the group of guys that you have? Uh, it's a close knit group. Um, you know, starting with the secondary, I mean, you can't separate us at all. And then now we got CJ and Avery down in the middle. Um, definitely something good for us. And then just that D line that we have and the depth that we added um, with the young guys and stuff like that, it's definitely going to be good for us um, for the depth wise. So, as a whole group, I mean, I feel like we're all on the same page, you know, so far. And we can only go better, get better from here.